loves. Last month I visited Rome, Italy and Santorini, Greece. I thought it would be a great idea to share with you some of my natural hair care tips for travel. I hope you find them useful. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. A tip number one should be, I think, the most obvious and that would be to start with fresh hair. I like to do my hair either the night before I'm traveling or the morning of. That way I don't have to think about my hair the first few days that I get there. And that also cuts back on the amount of products that I have to travel with. Tip number two is going to be to plan out your hair needs. So if you know you're going to be getting in the pool or the beach, you need to plan accordingly to have product for each of the times that your hair is going to get wet. Sometimes I go to the beach and I don't get in the water if you're one of those people. Cool. Or if I do get in the water, I'm not like actually sticking my head in the water. So think about that ahead of time, what you plan to do, and then you want to plan your hair needs accordingly. So even in that, if I'm going to do my hair, I'm either planning to do a wash and go or rock something simple like this. That way I don't have to worry about getting the perfect wash and go result. Tip number three is going to be to use samples. Now you know how you go to all those hair events and they just load you up with samples, especially curls. I have like four of these. Um, we died. Uh, Uncle Funky's daughter I actually bought the travel size um, pack of the Uncle Funky's daughter line which I actually really like um, but load up on the samples because they're usually within um, the TSA guidelines of I think it's like three ounces don't quote me I'll put it both put put it below but um, it's a great way to keep your um, products under within the limit and also it's more convenient than trying to have to pour leave-in conditioner into a one of those little travel size containers. Tip number four is going to be to always wash and condition your hair after getting in the beach, after getting in the pool. Like you don't want to leave salt or chlorine in your hair. Like wash that stuff out put some moisture back into your hair and yeah, don't sit with salt of all things in your hair for days. Not a good idea. And five. So even though you don't have a lot of time when traveling, I still recommend deep conditioning. Um, I use a deep conditioner that's like five, that's five minutes by L'Oreal. I should go and grab that. This by L'Oreal, and I'm not in love with the smell, but if you can find any of their like um, deep conditioners, then those work. Their five minute deep conditioners. Also, one that a lot of people swear by is the Aussie Moist three minute um, deep conditioner. I, that's actually like super affordable, and I would use. I would actually grab that. Uh, for travel and that way you can still get that good deep condition without spending an hour an hour on your hair like no one has time for that while traveling but yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up uh, subscribe subscribe if you haven't yeah yeah um, yeah and that's it love you guys bye